Whoa. I'm <laughs> sorry, sorry. I scared you, didn't I? Oh, relax. There's no need to be so guarded around me. <laughs> I'm a student just like you. You see me around, haven't you? You see me around too often? What does that mean? <laughs> well, it looks like our paths intersect more than I thought. You're definitely more observant than I am. You notice me all the time, but it seems like I only ever catch you out the corner of my eye. <laughs> but I finally caught you today, so now I can actually talk to you. Why do I want to talk to you? Hmm, well, it's because I think you're the only person in school who I haven't spoken to at least once. And that kind of sucks, because out of everyone, you're the one I wanted to chat with the most. Why you? <laughs> oh, don't you remember? At the beginning of the school year, you bailed me out of a really sticky situation. <laughs> okay, let me jog your memory then. <clears throat> the day is September 15th. It was a hot day, and I really couldn't take it anymore. The teacher had neglected to turn on the air conditioning, and you know what? He had stepped out of the classroom while we were all working on the class assignment, so he wouldn't mind if I turned it on, right? Yeah, that didn't happen. He was mad for some reason. I mean, come on, Mr. Blake, would you rather have your students die of a heat stroke? Anyways, while he was yelling about how only he was allowed to control the air conditioning, blah, 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 you raised your hand and asked him about the assignment. <laughs> what did that do? Well, you diverted his attention, of course, and he forgot about little old me. <laughs> nice save by you, and we got to keep the air conditioning on. I don't really care if you wanted to ask a genuine question, you still saved my butt. I've been looking to chat with you ever since, but you always just scurry away whenever I see you. <laughs> Could it be that you're avoiding me? Do you not like me? My fan club? What fan club? What are you talking about? What's with that incredulous look on your face? Hey, I am not denser than a brick. Are you talking about my friends, maybe? I know I've got a lot of them, but is it that you're intimidated by everyone? Well, in that case, I'm glad that I slipped away when I saw you passing by. <laughs> then you won't be so shy. Hmm. Not your point? What does that mean? Hey, come on, you can tell me. Even if it's a little mean, I'll listen, and you don't look like you have a mean bone in your body anyway. Well, if you think that I shouldn't judge you by your appearance, then why don't you chat with me? Let me get to know who you are inside so I don't have to only look at your appearance. Deal? Ah, oh, there we go. There's a smile. <laughs> You know, you look even more attractive than normal when you smile. Of course I think you're attractive. You keep your head down a lot, but I always find my gaze drawn to you. I don't know if you realize it, but you're lovely without trying too hard. One of the reasons why I always wanted to talk to you. You bet I say that to everyone. <laughs> I can promise you that I don't. You're the one that keeps stealing my gaze. No one else has managed. Why, well, yes, I am flirting with you. <laughs> Your face is turning red. Do I bluster you as well? <laughs> That's a good thing. It means you probably like me too. Ow! <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. But seriously, I do think you're really cool. If I really make you feel uncomfortable, then I'll stay away from you from now on. But 
I promise I really do just want to get to know you better. So don't hesitate to approach me, all right? You want me to approach you first? <laughs> all right, if that's what it takes to get to know you. Hmm? One other thing? You don't want me to approach you while my friends are around? Is it because they make you uncomfortable? I do see you keeping to yourself. Do you not like crowds? They did what? Oh, you... No wonder you didn't want to tell me. I... I can't say for sure that I believe you, but I know that my friends tend to get protective of me. Besides, I've never seen you lie, not even that one time when you accidentally tore the teacher's textbook. I'll talk to my friends. If they did all of that to you, then I guess we aren't friends after all. No, no. Don't apologize. You should never apologize for something someone else did. It's my fault for not noticing how they were treating you. Okay, yeah, that comment about my friends being my fan club makes more sense now. Um, tell you what, why don't we meet up here next week? Same place, same time. So we can chat more, of course, and... <laughs> To update you on the situation with my friends. As long as no one knows that we meet up here, that's fine, right? Great. <laughs> I'll see you then. Welp, I'm off to interrogate some people. Tell them that it really wasn't nice to mess with you. Hmm? Don't worry. I won't tell them that you're the one who told me. I'll just say that someone else tipped me off. Oh, one more thing. Just a word of advice. If you want to avoid my friends, there is a path out of the school by the back garden. None of them ever go there, and it's my own secret spot. <laughs> so if you ever want to find me and I'm nowhere to be found, you can go check out that area. Why tell you this? <laughs> Well, because I feel like I can trust you completely. Is that weird? I really hope it's not. <laughs> oh, there's a lovely smile again. <laughs> All right, see you around, okay? And I promise that no one will mess with you anymore. Again, don't mention it. <laughs> it's the least I can do.